Hello and welcome to the show. Melania Trump had major rival for Donald Trump's love, a new book reveals. A new book claims that the future president had fallen hard for another brunette model around the time he began dating the then Melania Nose in 1998. Melania and Donald Trump like to portray their mute cute at a New York City club in 1998 as the moment when lightning struck and they knew they were destined to be together. I went crazy, the future president told Larry King in 2005 about the first time he spotted his future third wife, the then Melania Knows, newly arrived from Slovenia. At the time, Trump was separated from his second wife, Marla Maples. Donald the, and Melania Trump both told King that he was supposed to meet another gorgeous model at the party at the Kit Kat Club, but after he spotted the 28-year-old Melania, the then real estate mogul moved in on her, chatted her up and asked her for her phone number. Melania, with her steel blue eyes, refused, but she took his number, flew down to Mar-a-Lago the following month, and a great love story was born. Or maybe not entirely and certainly not right away. That's according to a new book excerpted in Esquire, which shows that Trump was pretty busy pursuing relationships and assignments with different women in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The book, or the president's woman, Donald Trump and the making of a predator, describes how he was juggling relationships with at least two other models at the same time he began dating Melania Nose. In fact, Trump really fell for one of the models, Cara Young, and asked her to marry him before they had been together a year, celebrity reporter AJ Benzer revealed to the book's authors, journalists Barry Levine and Monique Alfazi. Of all the women Trump dated after Maples, it was Young, not Melania, that he wanted a future with, Benzer said, according to the book. Melania, therefore, viewed Young as her biggest threat, Benzer said. She knew Donald thought differently about Young than the way he ca casually would date other women in the city, Benzer said to Levine and Alfazi, suggesting that the future first lady knew that Trump wasn't dating her exclusively. Melania knew he treated Cara differently, continued Benzer, who said he also dated Young. This was a girl who he stayed home with, ate at home with, and watched movies. It was very domesticated, but Young wouldn't marry Trump, even though Trump repeatedly re proposed, Benza said. At the time, she was the mother of an infant son from her first marriage. I do know he wouldn't take no for an answer for a while, Benza said, and he made numerous attempts. Meanwhile, Melania learned the hard way that her future husband had difficulty getting Young out of his system and other close, source close to Young told Levine and Alfazi. Melania came home and saw what was not her makeup on a bathroom towel, Young's friend said. She flipped out. A big fight ensued. Melania's, Melania Trump's former roommate told Levine and Alfazi that she and Trump broke up over trust issues after he went back to his old ways. Eventually, Melania Trump forgave Trump and they got back together, but Trump apparently did not abandon his old ways, according to the book. He allegedly engaged in unwanted touching of other women before he proposed to Melania. Karen Johnson, who frequently visited Mar-a-Lago with her husband in the early 2000s, told Levine and Alfazi that Trump chased some of my bridesmaids around at their wedding reception, which they held at his private West Palm Beach Club. At one of Mar-a-Lago's New Year's Eve parties, Johnson said that Trump came onto her while she was making a quick trip to the West Room before heading home. I hadn't seen Trump that whole entire night, said Johnson who was wearing a black Versace dress. I was just walking to the bathroom. I was grabbed and pulled behind a tapestry and it was him and I'm a tall girl and I had six inch heels on and I still remember looking up at him and he's strong and he just kissed me. Johnson said Trump started calling her and asking her to see him. He vowed that her husband need never know. Eventually Johnson said Trump stopped calling and she stopped going to Mar-a-Lago. Johnson told Levine and Alfazi it was shocking to hear Trump's voice on the notorious Access Hollywood tape, which was released just before the 2016 presidential election. In the tape, recorded the same year Donald and Melania Trump married in January 2005, the Apprentice star described going after married women and grabbing their genitals. Johnson said Trump's description was exactly what he had done to her. That hit me hard because when he grabbed me and pulled me into the tapestry, that's where he grabbed me. He grabbed me there in my front and pulled me in, John Johnson told Levine and Alfazi. 
published accounts from other women alleged Trump engaged in other instances of unwanted touching over the years. More than two dozen women have come forward to accuse Trump of sexual misconduct or assault. All of the president's women, based on interviews with more than 100 people, reveals an additional 43 allegations of inappropriate behavior on the part of Trump. One alleged incident is reminiscent of what happened to Johnson at Mar-a-Lago. As recounted in People magazine, it also happened after Donald and Melania Trump married in January 2005. Shortly after the Access Hollywood tape was released, writer Natasha Stoinoff published an essay in People in which she described how Trump pushed her against a wall and also forced a kiss on her during a December 2005 interview at Mar-a-Lago. At the time, Donald and Melania Trump had been married nearly a year and Melania Trump was pregnant with son Barron. A spokesperson for Trump emphatically denied Stoinoff's allegation in 2016. This never happened, there is no merit or veracity to this fabricated story, the spokesperson said. Thank you.